So today is day two of my Christmas in July series and I'm super excited to share with you some of the things I've been working on. And I want to thank everyone who watched the first video and commented. I really appreciate it and I'm so excited that you are excited. Um, so yes, Christmas is almost here. Okay, so I picked this die. Today I'm going to share with you two dies that are so available online. Um, I picked this up from Hobby Lobby for three dollars and some change originally 12.99 this year when it was on clearance but you can still find it online i searched it and i will put the number in the description box because you probably cannot see it so this is what it is it is adorable little santa and then holly jolly uh, it comes with 11 pieces so these are how I put them together. I think he is super cute. And that's what I love about paper crafting is that you can change it to your liking. So if you can see, I changed out the eyes and he looks completely different. I absolutely love how this turned out. I think he is so adorable both ways, but I love, love this. And I just colored in white paper to get the color with a Prisma color marker from Hobby Lobby. But I honestly, I really didn't love this marker. I much rather the Michaels brand, the Artist Aloft. Um, I don't really use expensive markers, but yes, I absolutely love how he looks. And I really like the Holly a word but I cut out the jolly also and honestly it didn't really cut that well if you can see let me try to move this it didn't cut out that well so I just didn't use it at all and then I lost the pieces because they are individual letters but I really like the word holly and how it cut out so these are my Santas and of course I'm not done with them completely um, but I love this die. It is super, super cute. And it has 11 pieces. So that was really fun to work with. Then the next one is this one here. Let me put this underneath. Hopefully I don't drop it. So the next one is this one. And this one I also purchased at Hobby Lobby on clearance this year for $3 and some change. And you can still find this one online if you're interested. And I will put the number in the description box so those are all the little pieces comes with 14 and i thought this was so cute i absolutely love how it looks on there and then i altered it of course to my own liking which we all do and actually this tie right here with the little circles those are what i use the santa eyes for since I changed them, let me show you. I used that die, so it worked out perfectly, if you can tell. So yes, this is really, really nice. I like it because it has so many pieces that you can use on other things. If you don't wanna put everything together, you can separate it, of course. So I love that one. And this one is by Sizzix, the other one was by Momenta. So these are how I made mine. I think they are so adorable. Uh, my favorite is this little stocking right there. I think they're so, so cute. And then this bow is stunning. And that's how I made mine. And I put the little bird, it even has a little tiny bird right there. And I think he's so adorable. And I did my lights and the stars. and. I used all these items here are from the dies so I used everything that was included and I did it to like I altered a couple of them and I think they are so adorable and I absolutely love this little stocking so so cute so I'm super happy with the way all of this turned out and it is a lot of paper piecing and I'm not really used to that but now I know how you enjoy it because I had so much fun working with these dies. And this one is my favorite. This little stocking is so cute. So I did a quick, quick tag just to share with you. So this is how it looks. 
So I use the Memento Santa and then I use the bow right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. So it's so, so adorable. And I made this for my Christmas tree. So it is chipboard. It is medium. So it's quite thick. Um, because I will be putting this on my tree. And I absolutely love this. And the little gingerbreads are from this punch that I picked up off eBay. And this one is by EK Tools if you're interested. So it's a cute little ginger right there. So this is my tag and I will be uh, making more tags and I will have that on another video of course and I will share with you all. So I hope you like this video. Comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think and I will see you in my next video. Bye.